Hello, my name is uh, Jeff Williams and this is the Crack Turbo Beaver from Twisted Hobbies and what I'm hoping to show is proper setup on this particular airplane and what I want to begin with is that I have a in this particular instance an Airtronics SD10 radio but it doesn't matter uh, Chris Jewett uh, one of the designers of the airplanes running the DX18 his switches are basically the same as what I'm using so when I point to a switch it's actually the same switch that Chris the designer uh, is using on this airplane so what I want to illustrate is that we have um, um, we typically can run three rates on our 3D airplanes. You don't have to do this. We almost always fly it in high rates. Uh, it's very suitable for that. And I'll show you how some of my throws are. I'll plug in the battery here. And this particular instance, uh, on this airplane I've run two cell and three cell applications. I like the three cell a little bit better, but the uh, two cell is certainly uh, really nice too because it's a, a lightweight setup. Flying times are not much different, but um, I run two cell, three cell, either 350 or 450. Um, and then get my airplane on here, or my uh, transmitter on here. Okay, so we're powered up now. And what I'm going to show you is uh, just some basic rates here. First of all, my elevator. You see, I get about 45 degrees up, down, and same with the rudder. Rudder's basically going real close to the ends of the elevator here, okay? And you may or may not be able to see that in the video. Or So, the ailerons, they're pretty close to 45 degrees. You can see that. Okay, so that's, and here's my low rates, just if you want to see it I, I still keep a lot of elevator and aileron in it actually um, but uh, I even have a middle rate and they're really not much different uh, I like a lot of throw on this particular airplane on a, on other airplanes it would be significantly less but on this one typically I, I, I never take it out of high rates I fly it in high rates all the time so uh, on this particular instance uh, in case you're ever interested You'll see some of these transmitters, they have a lot of buttons across the top here. This far one over here is actually where I run my rates, my triple rates. And then the next center one, that is where is actually a flight mode switch, but what I'm using for, I've also assigned it to flaperons and spoilerons. If I push it down, excuse me, this one here, if I push that down, I get flaperons. Middle is nothing, and up is spoilerons. And that's the same thing Chris Stewart has on his for his flapper on slip and uh, spoiler on switch. Over here, on these two switches, this is nothing. This one here, if I flip that up, I get spoilers only, nothing else. And if I put it down, I get flaps only with nothing else. Okay, now how does that work? Okay, first, let's look at this switch over here, flaps. I put this down, okay, I'm going to bring it around here just so it's a little bit easier to see on a profile view of this aileron. You can see, okay, see where it goes right there? Now if I give it full left, you can see I get a little bit more throw. Okay, and that's about where you want to be, about 70% in my particular transmitter. That's what I am, am to, uh, to do that. So this is flaps. Okay, both of my ailerons are down. Okay, yet if I want to turn it, I can still turn it. There's full right, full left, and if I go out of flaps, there they go. Okay, now spoilers. I don't quite have as much on there because it really kills the lift, okay? Um, but you still have, you can see this one, it still goes up quite a bit, okay? So I'm probably more about 60%, 55 to 60, I don't remember the exact setting on there, it's but a little bit less. Play around with it, see what you like. That's the thing about it, just play around with it, see what you like. So that's flaps and spoilers. As you can see, if I run my elevator, nothing else is happening. Okay, same with flaps. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Okay, so here's flapperons. I put this switch down. 
Up elevator gives me down ailerons. Down elevator, I get up ailerons. Okay? That's flapperons. Great for making quicker turns, shorter, quicker loops. If I push that switch up, I will now get what's called spoilerons. Up elevator, up ailerons. Down elevator, down ailerons. Where is this useful? Okay, if you climb up high, you've seen if I do what's called the flap dive, okay? And we just point it straight down and then round out at the bottom. Very fun maneuver. That's all I'm using is those flaps. If I use spoilerons, okay, you give that right there, that command right there, while the airplane's level up high, it'll just drop and do a nice elevator all the way down. And it'll have very, if any, forward movement. In fact, in any kind of a headwind, probably like five mile an hour or more headwind, you'll pro it probably won't move forward at all. And more than five, maybe 10 mile an hour, it might actually even go backwards. So it'll be something fun to play with. So that is spoilerons there. So in closing, what I want to say is that the airplane has many capabilities and you don't have to run all this programming. You can just run it straight flying. Just uh, flying pattern type stuff, touch and goes. Uh, it's a very easy, easier flyer. I, I think you could train somebody on this. It's, it's so easy. It's durable. Uh, if they do have um, potential impact with the ground, you just throttle back and when it hits, you know, it, nothing really will happen. The, the prop is on a prop saver, so it will just uh, pop off. And with it being the type of EPP it is, it's very, very durable. Nice big wheels to fly in the taller grass or rougher surfaces if you want. And I think that it could easily fall into uh, a trainer category even if you wanted it to, but yet you see in the video that there are many 3D capabilities with it. But I think it's a lot, a lot of fun. Uh, what you can do with it is almost unlimited. So I hope that this helps you to understand the many aspects and setups that you can do with this airplane. Thank you.